Craftsman, proudly made in the USA with global materials. This is one of the sets Craftsman had at my local Lowe's. I'll put a, here's one, there's the other, as you can see. One's just a little bigger than the other, one's you know, three eighths and quarter. And the one I picked up is just the three eighths, 59 piece set, SAE and metric. All right, these are the ones that were made in Texas, that facility they opened up with all the robots and stuff making these things. But let's take a look at these real quick. So right here we can see 2021 Craftsman, ratchets, sockets, and wrenches made in USA with global materials, uh, balance made in Taiwan. I don't know if that's the case or the uh, extension or the bid driver. Don't know. Guess we'll find out once we look inside of here. Looking at this here, we can see our, our bits. Which comes in a little holder. No big deal. They just say the the size right on the bit. Phillips number four. Doesn't say anything else about where it's made, but not a lot of these bits tell you anyway. All right, here's our 3 8 ratchet. Made in the USA with global materials. I don't know what that 30W means. All right, this is a 90 tooth. Sounds pretty nice. Handles, you know, typical of their their new design. Pretty good actually. I mean, there's not not a whole lot of slop going on there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty bulky, right? And it's got the the release. Not a lot of people are a fan of the release, right? Because it weakens the uh, the anvil because of that pin that goes through to let the ball detent or the ball bearing fall back so the socket can be removed. But not not too bad looking, I suppose. Just for comparison on the, uh, the ratchet here, right? So nice, right? Obviously. Okay, we got a gear wrench, 90 tooth. Okay, you can see the head profile, thinner. Okay, this way, uh, pretty close. The gear wrench just tapers in better down here at the, at the neck. But, uh, okay, so that's one. We've got a newer gear wrench, 120 XP with the new compact heads. All right, thickness wise, pretty close. Ah, uh, nope, gear wrench is a little thinner. All right, but the, uh, I mean, I can completely cover the, the gear wrench one. Pretty close, but gear wrench is obviously a lot more compact. We look at even uh, an icon, right? Uh, these are actually pretty close. All right, Icon also being 90 tooth. Yeah, these are pretty similar. Oh, see, this is a flex head, but pretty similar size-wise. And for this one, tapers in a little, a little more than the Craftsman. Uh, and then you've got Gear Wrench 90 tooth. All right, this is their super compact one. And you can see slightly thinner. I mean, profile-wise, this almost looks like a quarter inch, but it is a three-eighths. So, okay, we got the magnetic bit holder. It's got a magnet inside of there. Doesn't tell us where it's made, right? So this could be something that was made in, in Taiwan because there's no markings anywhere. All right, we got a three inch extension. Here's a part number there, but doesn't say USA or anything on it. That and the, the chrome finish just isn't 
It's all scratched up. Right out of the box. Has not been used. Quite interesting. This is what really kind of... I mean, come on. All right. Let's look inside of there. Okay. Brand new socket. Just open this guy up. All right. Rust. All over. Rust. You can see it in there. You can see it inside the square. Okay. What? Like, even the outside. It's not nice, shiny chrome. All right. does say USA right on it. Which, I mean, you know, if you're, if you grew up working with your dad and stuff, you guys went to Sears and you got Craftsman, so it's in you, right? I'm a Craftsman fanboy, but this, I mean, let's grab another one. Let's, let's really get you in here. I mean, look at that. What, what robot was like, ah, uh, you know, the inside, it doesn't need chrome. The outside, eh, somewhat. It's just not nice. I don't understand what the uh, the deal is here. Let's look at this 10 mil. Thankfully, it's still in here. Haven't lost it. USA. Okay, part number. Big stamping on it. Kind of nice. All right, inside. This one isn't so bad, but you can just tell. The broaching is pretty shallow. I mean, that's a, could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? But you can see way in there, you got a little bit of rust starting. Okay, we jump up, let's say 13. Again, interesting with the, uh, the hole there. Broaching's a little deeper on that one. I don't know. They just, uh, obviously the quality wasn't there. That's probably why they closed down. They're like, this is garbage. Here's a 17 millimeter. Just like, what's happening? Why? I don't know. I got no fingernails. Get out of there. Well, you, what is it? Glued on? Oh, it is. Uh, bolt diameter gauges hold up to bolt to detect socket size. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick this in a engine bay. Sure. Okay, let's look at 18. Again, there's, it's, no, there's no chrome. Absolutely nothing. Already, you can see rust building up on it. Oh, look, this 10 millimeter is still here, too. Right. Not there. Just, I don't know. It would have been nice if these were great, but they're not. For an example, I've got old Craftsman. Actually made in the USA. Probably not with fucking global materials. You can see right there, GK. All right. This one is not chromed on the inside. It's got a... A different finish but I've had this for years okay and yeah there is a little bit of rust build up on there not not a lot but it's uniform so that's that one here's an old again Craftsman USA 3 8 this one's G what's up G uh, same similar finish I think I don't know this one's dirty dusty here, this one right here, Craftsman, okay? This is Taiwan or China made or whatever it is, Z-A-H. I don't know where that is. Obviously not in the U.S. But, okay, this one does have a little bit of use, but that rust is not, isn't on the socket. It's just uh, from removing a rusty fastener. All right, but look at the chrome, okay? There's chrome in there. China, all right? They they had factories that obviously produced a better, at least, appearance in the tool. Over at Harbor Freight, right? Icon, this is uh, 5 eighths. Look at the chrome. 
okay? It's almost the same finish on the inside as it is on the outside. Uh, here we have a gear wrench. Okay, these are made in Taiwan. Chrome, I mean, these are, I've been using these for quite a while, but uh, I cleaned this one up actually. But the chrome, nice finish. Okay, inside. Chrome. So what's the deal here, right? I don't know. They're... I'm glad I didn't buy the bigger set because this just seems like a waste of money. Now, these are closed, right? So this factory's closed. Uh, I break the ratchet. Am I going to get another ratchet? Probably not. Probably going to get a China one. I don't know yet. I haven't broken any of these. But just look at that. Frost pits. Terrible quality. This one's got a little more chrome in it, but still. Even the outside, I mean, it just doesn't... Let me polish this with the old shirt here. Yeah, see, it's now. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. And then, yeah, it's weird that the thing, this is just a regular extension that, you know, it's made in Taiwan. I don't know, I don't have anything new Craftsman. This is the only new Craftsman I have was kind of excited. I saw him at Lowe's and I said, let's go. But put it down in the comments. What do you think? Do you, did you go out and buy one of these? Did you see him on uh, on the old face space? Uh, people getting crazy over them. Like, oh, we got to go out and buy them and resell them. You know, gouge people. They're going to be worth a bunch of money. I don't, I don't know. I don't think they are. It might be cool. Hey, look. They made these tools for less than a year or whatever, and look how crappy they are. Nope. This will be, uh, you know, in the trunk somewhere in a vehicle for emergency use only, maybe. Who knows? There is a, you know, decent selection. I'm glad they have the the shallows and the deeps, right, and a couple of bits. Not too not too crazy with, with how much filler they put in here. So uh, the bigger one might have been a, a better choice. The bigger set, right, came with a quarter and the three-eighths, but I'm not going to buy that. I'm not wasting my money on uh, just subpar quality tools here. I mean, Taiwan, China, everyone's able to do better than these guys. Let me know down in the comments. Take it easy.